What's up, world? Welcome to the Positive Truth, uplifting and positive news. Fight back the fear, hatred, and bring communities together. Yeah. Tim, what are we trying to bring? Here at the Positive Truth, we're trying to bring awareness, empowerment, inspiration, optimism, and understanding to communities everywhere. This is the Positive Truth, and we're about to do our favorite positive news stories of the past month. Yeah. This is Tim. I'm JP. <laughs> <laughs> nice little fist pump. You're you're listening to our audio or watching our audio visual episode, which is every Monday, every Wednesday and Friday. We do audio versions of positive and uplifting news. Make sure to check those out. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, rate, review, follow us on our social medias, all of that fun stuff. But yeah, it's our favorite. <laughs> yes, I just hit my hand on this. I was trying to hold it. I swear I was. <laughs> do not edit that out, Super Producer JoJo. <laughs> I like how our one rule is do not hit the table, and I hit it within <laughs> 60 seconds of us recording. I'm loving it, though, man. We're rolling with the punches already. So we can roll with the punches. We got our six favorite positive news stories of the July. I got two of my favorites. Tim has two of his favorites. And the listeners, you will have two of your favorites. Facts. So we're going to start out with Tim, because we always start with Tim. Yeah. What is one of your favorite positive news stories man, of the past month? Man, you obviously know one of my favorite positive news stories was about these three teenage kids. So these three teenage kids see this woman stranded, cars broken down, they're car enthusiasts. So they're like, hey, let's go check it out. They checked out her engine. They were like, you know what? You probably should not turn this car back on. The lady immediately started stressing out. I don't have money for a tow truck. How am I gonna get home? This is, I don't know what to do. You know what these kids did, man? They straight up volunteered to push her car home four miles <laughs> we're not talking about a half a block or a mile we're talking about four miles me and jp were talking about this there's nothing about me that wants to push a car for four <laughs> miles like i will run four miles i will not walk four miles but push a car for four miles nothing about me that wants to do that the reason why it was one of my favorite positive news stories one it just sounds wild but two these kids not only pushed their car for four miles they enjoyed doing it they had a good time while doing something super positive for something they didn't somebody they didn't even know and they just saw a negative situation and turned it into something completely positive. And now this this woman is, instead of stressed out trying to figure out how she can get her car home, where she can get her car fixed, she is relaxed because these three young men, 13, 14 year old, pushed their car home for four miles. Small, small actions. Everyone doing one thing positive can do so much positivity for the whole world. And yeah, that is pretty awesome, pushing your car for four miles. I would have been like, I'll call you a tow truck. That's what I would have been. Facts. I'm with you on that one. I couldn't agree more. But yeah, man, that's absolutely awesome. My my first favorite positive news story of July is also about a 13 year old. His name is Michael Platt, and he lives in D.C. and he loves doing he loves baking. So he started Michael's Desserts, where he bakes desserts, cupcakes, all that fun things, all those things you love. Man. Exactly, dude. I, I'm loving this kid. I love this story already. <laughs> and what makes his bakery so special is every sale he makes. He matches and donates to the homeless. It was like, I see too many homeless in Washington, D.C. I like baking. I want to do something about it. So I can practice baking. I can donate to the homeless. I think it's absolutely awesome. You're 13 to have that kind of drive where it's like, I'm not even doing this for me. I'm doing this for someone else. Wild. Absolutely wonderful. These kids are doing great things today, man. Dude, I, I couldn't agree more. I Like, I'm only going to add this. Also, look at this picture. Dude, that cupcake looks amazing. Like, I'm a cupcake guy. Come on. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, I would have, man, I would have overpaid for that cupcake. Let yeah, me just check out the audio visual episode. You can see the picture of this cupcake, but it's absolutely awesome. Big facts. All, what I really have to say about this, though, the only thing I'm going to say about this, the fact that this kid saw a problem in his community and decided to do something about it, It just shows you how amazing our youth are. I've said this multiple times on our podcast, but I'm going to say it one more time because that is amazing, man. At 13 years old, right? 13. That's wild. So he's on Instagram at Michael's Desserts. You can also follow us on Instagram. Ooh, I'm about to follow him. (laughs) This is what he put put on one of his posts. It says, in quotes, your business model isn't sustainable. What can a cupcake do? He said, my answer to adults who tell me this, in my opinion, a cupcake can do a whole lot. I've seen a cupcake inspire smiles, tears, amazement, joy, satisfaction, happiness, and other private emotions I won't share out of respect for other people's dignity. I passed a a cupcake to someone sitting with all their possessions in a shopping cart and had them tell me this one simple act gave them hope. 
I've left a cup cake beside someone who was sleeping under a blanket on a grate because their friend on the grate next to them said it was okay when I asked, and that's why I give away cupcakes. I've been told my business model isn't sustainable and that I can't scale my business while giving away a dessert of equal value, ingredients and labor to the ones I need to sell, but I just look at those people and I think about the next cupcake that I'm going to give away. This kid's 13, man. And my heart, like everything also, is melted. Like, ah. Also, um, very nice uh, caption in a uh, verbiage. Yeah, <laughs> like when you're reading, I was like, there's no way he wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild, man. I think that's awesome. He's way, this dude is beyond his years. Let's be real. <laughs> Shout out to Michael, man. <laughs> Absolutely. What is your next favorite positive news story of July? Man, my last favorite positive news story of July is about that amazing very first black Barbie doll that is going to be in a wheelchair. I love this story because on Twitter, this is where I actually saw it, which is weird, I never get on Twitter. I got on Twitter because somebody else sent me a link and then boom. But on Twitter, basically people were talking about this like crazy because they tried to do this in the 90s with a white Barbie with the wheelchair and the Barbie didn't fit inside the dream house. So obviously didn't sell very well. Now, fast forward to 2019, we have a black Barbie doll with her natural hair that can fit inside of the Barbie dream house. It's only on sale for $19.99. People everywhere are loving it because they love the message that it's bringing. You can be different and still be a Barbie. You can still play with somebody that looks just like you. And to me, I thought it was amazing. This is something that I would love for my daughter to play with one day when she gets old enough to play with Barbies. Absolutely. It also shows just how well, just how much as a country we have progressed in 20 years. Facts. And that's something that we need to remind the people because <laughs> sometimes they be forgetting, man. <laughs> we tend to focus on negative trends, but there's a lot of positive ones just like this. That's, that's absolutely awesome. You should tell the story about uh, what your wife said about this. I'm not too sure. What did she say, JP? Man? <laughs> she was the one that said you had to talk about Oh, it. yeah. She, like, you know how it is with her. If she sees a positive news story and she's like, yo, you should talk about that. I talk yes. about it. Yes. But with this one, I think this was the most aggressive story she talked to me about over the month. My, this might have been top two for sure. She definitely wanted me to talk about this. Like, oh, yes, you have to talk about this. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Anything that's Edna approves, we talk about. <laughs> Big facts. My. Last favorite positive news story is also from the youth. It's a 12 year old. Her name is Yashanda D. Shinoy, and she lives in India and she loves reading books. And she checked a book out of the library, was reading it, forgot to return it on time. So she, whenever she returned it, she got hit with a fee and she gladly paid. She was like, I was wrong, but she didn't know you had to pay a fee if you had a late library book. She was like, that's crazy because there's a lot of poor people that can't afford to pay the fees on late books. She didn't think that was right, so she was like, it would be awesome if you had a library where you could just, with no fees, and there was none in India. So she, her 12 years old, was like, talk to her dad, hmm, I want to do something about this. I want to start my own library. Dad was like, okay, like, how do you want to do this? She was like, anytime I get out of class, I can do my homework there. This little section, that, it's just a small little shed that they have on their property. I can do my homework there. I'll be the librarian and we just put books in it and it's just no library fees. She's 12, right? So they put it on social media, the thing you talk Power about. Power social media through Savas. They ended up getting 35,000 books, 110 people that go to this, go to this library, 110 members. A thousand of them are in English. So it's That's multi, dope. Yeah. Like multilingual library. And she runs it at 12 years old. 35,000 books were donated like that? Yeah, man. When you ask for something and you're doing something like positive like this, people come out of the woodworks to help out, don't they? That's amazing, man. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's just super awesome. It's called Yashanda's Library. And she's just been, it's 110 members, a lot of people that are too poor to pay off library fees. And a lot of people are just like, I like what you're doing, so I'm gonna come support you. She runs it. She's the youngest librarian in India, probably the youngest librarian in the world. Yeah, I don't know any librarians her age. Also, I mean, it's just one simple thing you can do to make the world a better place. Big facts. I don't know about simple, but facts. <laughs> Before we get to the people's favorite positive two news stories, we need to pause, like we do for the Wednesday and Friday episodes, do our audio meditation. Where me and Tim talk about one thing we're grateful for each because of the stresses of life. We have to know we'll look all the great things going on in our own lives. We encourage everyone listening to think of one thing you're grateful for. Guaranteed to make your day so much more positive. Tim, what are you grateful for today? Man, I'm definitely gonna talk about my daughter today. Dude, it's she's like hitting like 
she's a daddy's girl right now. She's all over my leg while I'm leaving, holding on to it, yelling. Whenever she gets hurt, she comes to me. Like today, I was dribbling her little ball because I bought her a basketball goal like last week, thinking that she could hoop and she doesn't want to hoop. But <laughs> I was bouncing the ball and she grabbed another ball and tried to bounce it. And of course, the ball hits the ground, doesn't bounce back up. But she's still moving her hand like she's bouncing. And it just made me so like, just happy. You know what I mean? Be able to spend quality time with my daughter. Definitely grateful for that. Hmm. I'm not going to share what I said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I was I guess I should share now. I was like, Tim, that's not going to last forever. And JoJo was like, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so that's super producer JoJo on that positivity. Do <laughs> sabes. I am going to be grateful for um, air conditioning and melanin. I know that's two things. But... That's pretty hilarious right now, though. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> Tim was like, what's wrong with your face? I was like, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said, JP, man, your face looks different. What is it? And yeah, JP responds no, with, <laughs> I've been walking outside 15 to 30 minutes a day because I have to walk outside for class. Right. And I don't sunburn because, you know, brown skin. And yeah, shout out to air conditioning. It's hot, 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 hot outside. It's hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what happens. You have the positive news stories, which warms everything up. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, JP. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, shout out to air conditioning because I don't think I would make it. It's way too hot. I can't imagine. Yeah, it's bad right now. <laughs> it's, it's 100. I can't imagine life without air conditioning. It's so great. I still love the summer. still love the heat. And yeah, I love the fact that I don't get sunburns. I just get darker. I feel like there's a lot of people that don't. I know there's a lot of people that aren't like that. So shout out to Miller. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it, JP. I'm loving it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Tim. Yes, sir. Before we get into our last two, these are the people's favorites. These are the ones we post on our positive our Facebook page, the Positive Truth Podcast, has got the most likes and the most shares in July. If you want to contribute, you can send us positive news stories. You can send us an email telling us what were your favorite positive news stories. We'll definitely talk about them. These are the ones that had the most likes and shares. I know you love the people's choice for the first one because it's so wild. I did. I, I loved it, man. So we're talking about running here. So back like around beginning of July, we were talking about this woman who ran a marathon. She was a mother at 35 years old how she ran this marathon and she finished in three hours and 11 minutes. That's impressive That's by itself. Impressive. Issue is, is that she ran it in three hours and 11 minutes while pushing a 185 pound stroller. She had three of her kids in the stroller while she pushed it the whole entire time. This story is amazing in itself, just talking about that, but let's talk about it even more. She is now the Guinness World Record holder for pushing a three person <laughs> stroller as well. Um, she inspires people all over the, the world. She ran in this marathon last year, pushing her kids as well, who she broke the world record for the- She, she ran a seven minute pace while pushing, pushing three sub kids? Sub 720 pace. You're talking about like 717 pace that she's oh, running. Most man. people can't even run a mile in seven minutes and 17 seconds. She's doing this for 26.2 miles. It's beyond impressive. I have a really cool photo we'll share up here so you guys can check it out. I'm beyond impressed with her. Her name is Cynthia Arnold, by the way. I told myself not to forget that and I did. Oh. But yeah, man, I just thought it was awesome, something we should share on here. There's a lot of people that are like, oh, I just want to run a 5K, which is 3.1 miles. If she can run 26.2 while pushing three of her kids, we yeah. don't have an excuse. Let's that's get up and let's people, do it. That's why the people loved it. Dude, you're exactly right, man. I had somebody messaging me like, yo, this can't be true. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Whenever you talked about it in the audio episode, I was the same thing. I thought I was like, she, she did what? <laughs> yeah, it made me want to get a stroller and run with uh, Layla. And then I thought about it and I'm like, yeah, nah. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, shout out to Miss Arnold. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. What is it with Arnold? Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Cynthia Arnold? You just do crazy things. Man, I'm having to, like, my next child's middle name might be Arnold now because of this story. This is when we get a cut from Edna. No, it will not. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Watch JoJo edit that in nowhere at this space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, the, the people's other favorite positive news story is from Jaden Smith. He started a f free vegan rest vegan food truck yes. in LA for the homeless. It's called I Love You Restaurant. It's just like trying to give back and help the people. And I just It's dope, man. It's dope. This is one people of my people loved it. I think I this is my favorite story. I'm sorry. This is like my favorite story of the month, I think, period. This dude, he just turned 21 years old on his 21st birthday. He did this. He shows up to the the, this homeless population in LA. And he's like, you know what? Rest, this is for free, everybody come in. It's free vegan fruit, and this isn't my last stop. I'm not gonna just stop doing this. This isn't a one-time thing. 
dude just turned 21 years old. We keep talking about the youth on here. And I was actually, I follow his dad, obviously, Will Smith, the Fresh Prince. Uh, I follow him on Instagram and he posted a, you know, happy birthday to his son thing. But he said that you saw a problem with the world at a very young age and you decided to do something about it. And that's something I talk about on here constantly. But the fact that somebody like that is saying that to his son who's doing great things in the world, because we talked about him a couple times this month, doing some positive things. He also did a thing in Flint, Michigan, where he got them the water, their second water box, which he did before in the past and said, I'll be back and I'll do it again. And boom, here he is doing this, a pop-up truck, a pop-up food truck. That's amazing, man. You know how many people can do that and don't at 21 years old, out here changing the world through Salas. Perfectly said, no, Tim man, Tim. I, got, I, got got <laughs> I got hype. I got hype. Let's go. <laughs> well, I mean, we appreciate everyone that liked our these stories on our Facebook page. Make sure you go like, share, do all the fun stuff as well. We'll be back all throughout August talking about inspirational stories on Mondays and then talking about uplifting and positive news on Wednesday and Friday. And then we'll do this again in August. Tim is searching I have vigorously a quote. for the quote. So through, my through his thousands of uh, Snapchat friends. Oh my gosh, I'm so close on knowing him. I just saw his name. No, Anthony. Anthony sent me this quote, and I told him I would give him a you shout know out. There's a search button at the top of Snapchat. You know that, right? Take that, world. <laughs> I dislike you right now. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Anthony, man. I told you I would say this, but no person is your friend who demands your silence or denies your right to grow. Alice Walker. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be back on Wednesday with six more positive news stories. Until then, we're out. Stay positive.